Now, generally speaking, a horse or a donkey is going to really enjoy being brushed down. Um, but the feet would be more troublesome on a starter animal. So if you're the, this is your first time doing these kinds of things on an animal, it may be best to buy an animal that's already been trained for your first animal because uh, they will freak out most of the time unless they've been trained. And he's been trained really well, so we've learned we've been able to learn very quickly how to do this, or I have, and I already knew how to do it. But we're going to clean his feet today, and you'll get to see uh, just how easy it can be. Okay. So you always want to start with the right front foot, and then you work your way around. And uh, so there we go. And I, I generally pull his front feet through my legs so I have extra support. And then you take this, and I keep my thumb right there, and I want to I want to carve upward, so I'm not touching his uh, frog. And I stay on the outside towards the horseshoe on both ends. And he's got so much mud in here, and he's getting tons and tons of pebbles. And then our chickens tend to try to eat what's in his feet, which is kind of gross. There's this fine line you gotta play between trying to dig out all this crap and not digging too hard that you're hurting his feet. So he's got all this twigs. And once you once you've done it a few times, you'll start to understand the shape of it of the animal's hoofs. And so you'll know where everything's located and it'll be easier for you. It's really good to do this every day because if it's really muddy they're gonna get a smell on their feet kinda of like a athlete's foot and it's not good. Cause foot rot. See? Now I'm trying really hard to make sure I don't scrape the actual inside of the hoof right here because that's a very sensitive area. You'll be surprised how many rocks you can find right here in this little crevice that looks like there was nothing in it. He's got a lot of shit. And then you can take the brush and sort of brush everything away. And there, see, there's more pebbles in, in there. I don't know the proper names for all the anatomy. I'll have to look that up. But it's pretty simple. You don't need to know the proper names. I mean, people have done this for centuries. And there you go. And then I try to get everything out of the where the horseshoe meets the hoof. So they, it, it helps with the shock absorption. And there you go, that's a, well, right there, we got some more stuff. And that's a clean hoof for you. And there you go. Whew. It's hard because he keeps leaning on me because he's like, no! Okay, now you give him a nice pat on the shoulder. Tell him that's a good, very good boy. Ooh, dusty. Okay, now we're going to start on the back foot. And the back foot is slightly different, so we're going to show a little bit of that too. But you want to start, you want to put your hand right here so he knows where you are. So he's, you're not startling him because the, the back feet can be very powerful if you startle an animal. So then we run our hand down so he knows we're coming here. He should, he's well trained, so he should know that I'm trying to pick this up. And then you just pick it up and then you stretch it out a little bit so it's comfortable for the animal. And then I'm taking the hoof pick again. And I'm doing everything, I'm trying to do everything away from the frog. And we'll show you the frog as we get down. But I'm trying to get everything out. And then I do this again. Everything 
away from the center of the hoof because you don't want to touch the frog with the pick because it's very sensitive. If they're really muddy, I like to brush off the hooves as well a little bit. Easy chuck. He's tick he's ticklish. <laughs> Come on, Chuck. Okay, I'm gonna let him put it down. Come on. Okay. Now the hoof the frog is like the under part of your fingernail. We're slowly getting to it. And uh, every, the frog on every animal, every horse or donkey or mule is different from one another. So unless you're really familiar with the animal, it's best to be very careful. Now you see me, I actually went inside a little bit. It's actually not terribly recommended. I, I just, I know his foot pretty well. All those stones out. Now these back feet are a lot better condition at the moment than his front feet, so you can see what a ideal horse hoof looks like. And there is his frog, the really sensitive part. I'm just clearing that out a little bit, just making sure there's no stones. And there you go. He's very ticklish in his back feet, so he's getting ornery with me. But I'm going to let him put it down. And the other thing I had forgotten to mention that I want to show you is if, you, uh, if you're going to work on a horse's hoofs, it's best to keep his rope very short and high tied so he doesn't trip and he doesn't move too much if he freaks out. So we're going to clean the other two feet, then we're going to show you how to tack him up. Now, with every foot, you always remember to face the back of the animal. Don't go working on his feet like this. That would be very stupid. <laughs> Always face this way.